just finished workout number one of month three. So welcome to month three. This may be a little premature to say it, but uh, I dug this workout. This was a great change of pace from month two. In fact, by the end of month two, I was getting a little circuit wear out or just circuited out. I, it was, I, month two was all circuits minus the contrast wave loading. So month three is a welcome, welcome change of pace. It's pretty sweet actually. So give you the breakdown. Uh, month three, it goes in uh, six day cycles. So there are six workouts that make up one cycle. Um, and it's, you're moving towards a, a bro split. So today was chest and back. Um, you'll notice that it's chest, back, quads, quads and hamstrings and glutes and shoulders and arms. I might have that all flip-flopped around, but then you'll rest and then you'll go to the, the second set of three and the chest and back flip flat. So now it's labeled back and chest because today's workout was basically all chest and then you, he calls re-stimulate the uh, back with just a couple of heavy lifts. Um, according to the phase video, this phase focuses primarily on hypertrophy. Um, the workouts are, I, I'm, I'm digging it. You're, you're away from the circuits. Um, multiple techniques are used here. You've got drop sets this month. You've got supersets. And you've got in this week finishers, but that finisher move, which for chest and back today was push ups. I hate push ups but you're never getting away from them, especially with Athlean X. But the finisher today was push-ups. Um, then that finisher is going to move around in these workouts, um, whether it's the beginning or the end, and it's just utilized in a different way. In fact, this six set of workouts are going to remain the same the next couple of weeks. So I'm also, I like that. I like repetition because you got your, your weights set. You know the workout, it moves smoothly. The only thing, as I said, changes is that that finisher move might come at the beginning next week. I haven't looked far enough ahead or at the entire end of the workout and it's just utilized in a different way, but it's the same format that you're throughout the month. Uh, other than that, as I said before, whereas you're supposed to do the first three workouts, take a rest day, and then do the, the last three workouts, 
Um, my weeks are going to take longer than that. I do like to um, incorporate just other other forms of exercise, especially cardio. Um, some days I'll throw on my own burst training, especially if it's gorgeous outside. I'm looking really, really forward to month three. This this one I'm I'm thinking is going to be quite quite the doozy. In fact, with the leg workout, the uh, finisher this week for that is the dumbbell swing slash kettlebell swing. So the kettlebell swing this month, um, you use two hands and then one hand to one hand. Uh, I did end up, my local Walmart had the, the Bowflex adjustable kettlebell. So I purchased that, I have to pick that up. I just decided to make that call because of the amount of kettlebell swings. Kettlebells are, dumbbell swings are utilized quite a bit in Athlean X and with having to use the one hand, I just finally decided I, I really want an actual kettlebell with the handle. Um, so I, I, uh, that's, that's the latest in the exercise equipment down here. I just finished the glutes and hams slash quads workout. So glutes and hams hypertrophy was the main focus. And then you finish up with a couple of strength moves for the quads. By far the most taxing of the workouts I have done thus far. It also took me the longest to do. Um, the other workouts were taking me, I mean, I was finishing up within an hour. This one, it's a lot of, this one was a little bit more setting up for the exercises and just physically taxing and made up of just not my favorite moves. Uh, hamstring, slick floor, hamstring curls. So of course I have to run upstairs, take my shoes off and do that upstairs. I absolutely hate those. I think they have strengthened my hamstrings incredibly. Um, you see them in AX1, but I'm not a fan. They are brutal. Then today's superset. I have spent so many hours online and time just trying to set this superset up to be able to do in my home gym down here. In the walkthrough video or the demonstrations, he is on a GHR glute hamstring raise um, machine, or uh, I'm, I don't know if it's also called a Roman chair. It's a very large, bulky, expensive piece of equipment that I do not have access to, will never have access to in my home gym. So I researched and researched, I was trying all sorts of things and concoctions down here. I ended up finding the BOSU ball uh, alternative. The other part of that superset, so your glute hamstring raise, is the glute hyperextension, I believe. So you end up just about you come down a little bit, you're using your glutes and your hands, tightening those up, and then a little bit of your lower back, going down, squeezing, coming up, uh, just slightly, slightly past horizontal. Uh, 
I, as you can see in the video, I concocted a way with my power rack and the bench to hook my feet and be able to do that to the best of my ability. Tomorrow is to be shoulders and arms, or I think it's vice versa, arms and shoulders. See you down here tomorrow to finish up the first week of month three. Hey everybody, so that finishes up month three's week one of OSI, or the first of three rounds of that six uh, workout cycle. Today was arms and shoulders. The um, arms today with the, the finisher, as I said, which is the variable, the only variable that's going to change over these um, next three weeks in the workouts, you had to decide between biceps or triceps. It says do not do both. You pick one or you pick the other. So I did uh, triceps and triceps finisher was um, a half gauntlet, which actually there are one or two other finishers that are half gauntlet styles. So uh, my arms are feeling pretty, <laughs> pretty toast. Uh, the other thing, I've, I'm watching some of the footage in yesterday's, as I told you, the glutes, hams, quads uh, workout was quite a bit of setup and and moving around. I've had some light bulb moments that uh, I'm working on, hopefully making some changes to make that work out a little bit smoother, including, I think, I do believe with uh, just minor, minor things done down here, I could do the glute ham raises on a physio ball. Because if you watch, his demo he he doesn't he does kind of reiterate or, or or show you that when you're doing that he prefers that you you go all the way down and get this get a stretch in the glutes and then come up so um, with a physio ball I should be able to get more range of motion in that that move next time this was a thought I had earlier in the week maybe even last week um, if you recall with AX1, you can buy add-ons, and I, I want to say they're called NXTs, and you each, there it costs so much money to buy like a, a body part. So you could pick back, you can pick chest, you can pick arms. Um, with the way that this program is set up, including month two circuits, circuits that focus specifically on body parts, chest, back, um, or even these workouts that are the beginning of the workout is set on hypertrophy of a certain body part. Rather than, I'm trying to save you a little cash possibly, rather than purchasing those NXTs, if you own old school iron or if it's something that you would like to aspire to, you could sub in circuits from month two or exercises from from this month into AX1 and not buy not buy those those NXTs and get a little more work on whichever body part that you're looking to increase strength in um, and it's something that I, I considered because it's probably something I'm gonna do when I repeat AX1 in time next Last point I'm going to make. Um, if you recall, some people have said it was, there was already an old school iron workout. Um, I believe it was a bonus when you bought a, I don't even know what program it was. It was a while back and it was only, it was released as a one month program. Um, it's my understanding, Jeff makes the comment that month three is very similar to that OSI old school iron release and this month. These workouts, there are not too many new exercises. For the most part, um, I have seen all of these moves before, whether it was earlier in OSI or in month two in the circuits or a couple that were in previous programs. But for the most part, whereas in month two, there were quite a few moves that were new to me that I had to really watch the demos and practice. Uh, this time around, 
it's been I've been pretty familiar with the majority of the exercises comprising the workouts. Um, I, I want to say thank you to all of you that have left extremely kind comments. Um, especially those that you know they say watching these videos is motivating them. Know that that relationship is a, a mutual relationship. Knowing that people out there are using these to keep them motivated motivates me to keep going. So thank you so much. Um, I will see you next week or however many days it takes me to get through this next six workout cycle. So hope everybody's still going and staying strong.